Well, you've been doing this game long enough. I guess you really do start to see every dang thing. Oh my goodness. You got me flipping my flapjack. Woo! I don't think I've seen this before. Tattooed Chef to reschedule third quarter 2021 earnings release. Tattooed Chef, a leader in plant-based foods, today announced it will reschedule its third quarter 2021 earnings release and conference call previously scheduled to come out in like 10 minutes. On November 10, 2021, the delay will result in additional time required to finalize a company's financial statements, and the company will make further announcement regarding the timing of the release and conference calls. All right, so I have a lot to say about this. Oh, do I have a lot to say about this? First off, I'm happy I wasn't live streaming this because, you know, you never know what's going to happen in dang earnings, right? And if you're put on the spot live, like, you know, sometimes it's like hard to get your full reaction, right? I spent some time the last 30 minutes or so really thinking about this from all different angles, the good, the bad, the in-between, okay? And um, yeah, we got a lot to get into today, guys, okay? So first off, let me, let me be very clear on record. I would love them to have reported today. I was mentally prepared today. I think everybody was mentally prepared today, right? Uh, earnings day is like a big day, right? And it's like, I'm ready for that stock to go down 20%. I'm ready for it to go up 20%, right? Like I'm in that mental state of like, you know, fight or flight and it's about to be crazy and like this is going to be awesome or this is going to be horrible, but I'm, I'm mentally there, right? And so... It's certainly no fun to put yourself in that mental state of like, hey, I'm ready for this. And then all of a sudden it doesn't happen. And it's like, really? Like what? 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 Okay. So first off, I would have loved for them to be ready. I, I don't like that they weren't ready for this earnings call. And I wish they would have come out earlier in the day and said it or yesterday or something like that. Like maybe they thought they had everything or in, you know, they just couldn't get it together in time. Um, so yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm obviously disappointed that they weren't ready. Okay. So I just want to say that first and foremost. Now, secondly here, I will cut them some slack. All right. So first off, they're a new public company. They've been public for what, about a year or so. So it's not like this is a super established company. Sam Galetti uh, has never led a public company before from what I've looked into with him before and uh, the management team and those sorts of things. So I will cut him some slack in, in terms of that. The company also has 50% plus revenue growth. And um, yeah, when you have a small team and you're scaling up like this and next thing you know, you're in all these stores, uh, you're, a lot of your attention is kind of focused on making sure Target has your 58 SKUs you got in Target, right? or maybe it's not 58, but the massive quantity that Target keeps ordering from them, it's kind of important that you keep your customers happy, right? And so much of the attention is on the business and business and business and growing that and they're getting in all these retailers. So they got a lot going on, right? They've also have two acquisitions that have just happened very recently, right? The New Mexico Foods Company. Now they have this uh, other company that they're supposed to make, uh, you know, nutritional bars and snacks out of uh, that facility and whatnot. So that's something that makes the financials even more confusing is like, well, what, what gets put into the new revenue category? What's organic growth? Do you split those apart? Uh, you know, if there's a deal that, let's say, closed in this month or this quarter, what revenue gets recognized? Where like it, it can get really, really messy, especially when you have multiple acquisitions and you have ridiculous organic growth going on and you're getting into every single retailer out there. And you have a small team because, you know, a few years ago, no one ever heard of Tattoo Chef. It was a nobody company. And now all of a sudden you're like this huge player in the plant-based food space and like a billion dollar plus company as far as market cap goes. And you're scaling to hundreds of millions of dollars of revenue now, right? So as that's going on, also this company has a ridiculous intense focus. When it comes to Tattoo Chef, this is not just some regular stock. Let's be quite honest. This is a uh, building into a cult stock, right? Uh, and, and when you're, you're, you got that type of intense pressure on you, everybody's looking at everything. And if just one of your numbers is inaccurate or one of your numbers is wrong, next thing you know, you're going to have lawsuits left and right. And, and everybody's going to be coming after you with the pitchforks. They're like, that number wasn't right. You guys lied about your gross margin or the revenue number percentage wasn't right or something like that. So there is absolutely a super intense focus on the stock. There's literally, I don't know, probably tens of thousands of people that care about the stock, if not hundreds of thousands of people that care about this stock and are looking at it and like, you know, what's going on here? So there's an extremely intense focus around the stock. Everything better be perfect when you report the numbers in terms of, you know, everything being accurate. Because if they're not, like, <laughs> you're going to get crazy attention for that and, and, and a negative attention that is, okay? And 
Also, you know, the, the shorts are ready to attack anything here, right? There's a, you know, a lot of people that are short this stock. And so if, if anything's inaccurate or not reported right, the shorts are going to attack that left and right and you will never hear the end of it. Oh, remember when Tattoo Chef was, that number was wrong? It's a fraud company. It's a scam. You know, that's, oh my gosh, they would just keep on saying that over and over and over again, Okay. So you have to ask yourself, like, is it better to report inaccurate numbers or accurate numbers? So obviously in Tattoo Chef, you'd much rather have them report accurate numbers. The best thing would have been if they were already ready for today. But that's not the case. They're not ready, okay? So then you have two options. Since they weren't ready, report potentially inaccurate financial statements and inaccurate numbers, okay? That's one option. Or report accurate numbers. You report inaccurate numbers, get ready to potentially get crazy fines, jail time, and stuff that will ruin your brand forever. And the shorts will never forget that stuff, okay? That's one option. Or you can say, let's postpone this. Let's reschedule this call. Let's make sure all the numbers are accurate. Let's make sure all the information we're giving is accurate around this company and call it a dang day, okay? So that was the two, that's the, literally the only two options. Report inaccurate or report accurate. That's all they had for options today because they weren't ready to report those numbers, right? So, I mean, it's kind of important, okay? Now, next thing. So this is a th something that's going to get a lot of the weak hands out of the stock. I felt, you know, there was already, I feel like, a, a weakness in the stock going into these earnings, right? Based upon the price action, based upon some of the price action today and whatnot. If you look at that stock, I think there was, I think there was people ready to sell. And guess what? I was watching that stock way before the news release came out uh, on, the, on their website, essentially. And the stock was already ticking down you like probably three to five minutes before the news release came out okay so the fact was there was people ready to sell that stock don't matter what today and it didn't really matter what tattooed chef reported for numbers today or if they delayed the call or whatever i think that stock was probably uh ready to sell off because i felt like there was a lot of weak hands that were just looking for a reason to sell that stock right anything it didn't matter like even if the company beat revenue estimates even if they had better gross margins that stock probably would have gone down down after hours that's just the way it was that's why i have this you know i, I talked about that in a video on financial education three i have money ready to rock and roll ready to tattoo chef that money's likely going to be deployed tomorrow especially if those weak hands do sell out okay and so that's another factor you know get those people out that don't really want to be part of this mission over the next three five seven years out 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 okay uh, the expectations are going to be even lower for the stock now, right? Because let's be, let's be honest. What are the shorts going to say? Oh, uh, they, they must have bad numbers. So they're trying to hide it. Dude, uh, first off, that's just ridiculous. There's no such thing as hiding it, right? If the numbers come out next week or the week after, there's going to be even more tension on this, okay? And so if anything, you want to kind of report those and get those done if they were bad numbers. And if, you, if these folks just went to the real world, they're going to realize, like, if anything, the numbers are phenomenal. And if anything, the numbers are likely a tick higher than a lot of folks expect, okay? And so the way I look at this is expectations will be even brought down now more because the shorts are going to post everywhere. Tattoo Chef's hiding something. Tattoo Chef's numbers are bad. Oh, my gosh. And they're going to keep putting that out there and keep putting that out there. And that will be something that drives some of the weak hands out. And that will be what it's going to be. And I'll gladly pick up shares because I believe this is going to be a five, ten, fifteen billion dollar company down the road. And so, oh, at one billion dollars, it's like just give me, give me, the, give me the dang shares, okay? But expectations are brought down. Whenever you get lower and lower expectations, the upside potential is greater, right? Uh, you look at Honest Stock after hours, which I'm going to make a full dedicated video later, probably today or tonight, on Honest Earnings, right? Beaten down stock, expectations through the floor. All you got to come through is something, little something, and next thing you know, boop. Okay, so next, next thing. Now, this is something that's going to get Tattooed Chef stock even more attention. This next, whenever they do finally report earnings, it's going to have even more eyeballs on it. Because one, you're still going to have all the shareholders that are still paying attention to this, right? We're, it's not like because they get report next week or the week after or whatever, right? It's not like we're going to be like, oh, we don't care about the earnings now. It's not the way this works, right? So we're still going to be paying attention. But now, because of this whole situation, it's going to drive a ton more attention. Whether people own this stock or don't own this stock, a lot more people's eyeballs are going to be on this earnings. Because everybody's like, what is going on here, man? They, they delayed the earnings. What was this for? They, did they got a bad miss coming? Did they, are numbers way better than they expected? Maybe uh, money, so much money's coming in that company that it's taking a little time to, to count it up. It's coming in in the crates, okay? <laughs> so, you know, you never really know. But all I know is it's going to bring more attention for this okay 
So now in me, in terms of, of me with uh, Tattoo Chef stock, uh, yeah, if the stock sells off tomorrow, I'll be buying the shares. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter to me that I buy it 15, 16, 17, 18. Like the lower, the better, because I'm a long-term shareholder in this. It's, I look at this with all the companies I ever get into that are like three, five, seven-year plays. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like sell off the stock. I'll be there to pick up shares on the cheap because I believe that stock's going to certain places over the years. And, you know, come from 2022 to 2025, I believe that stock's going to certain places. That's how it will play out. I will likely be right, and I will make a ton of money. And, uh, you know, if other shareholders want to sell to me, I'm more than happy to take the dang shares. Um, you know, like I said, I would have loved for them to report today, but at the end of the day, it's either they reported inaccurate numbers or they could wait and report accurate ones. And, uh, you know, yeah, the, 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 there's no advantage to reporting it potentially inaccurate financial statements. That's a serious crime. And that will wind you up in serious trouble as a, a public company and CEO of a public company. So, uh, yeah, it's better to just wait on it. Whether they report next week or the week after or whatever, um, I'm going to be more than happy to see those earnings. I'll obviously cover those for you guys on the channel, as always. And uh, that will be that. So, anywho, guys, that's about it in regards to Chef. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, as always. And then uh, I got an honest video coming tonight on those earnings. So, that is the Chef. Much love, as always. Always be ready to expect everything, anything, guys. Peace.